I'm gonna show you a simple, quick, easy way to set up a slack line. I've got a special technique at the end that's gonna make the whole process 10 times easier. Let's get into it. So this video is a companion to the one you can watch through this card up here or through the link in the description where I talk more about why slack lining is beneficial for your health and how it helps you to get into a flow state. So the whole process is simple. It all fits into a bag like this. So it's perfect for the minimalist lifestyle. So this is the main line that you're gonna have here. I have it braided up, which I'll show you how to pack everything at the end. But you have your big line that goes between the trees. And I like to have two separate color lines. That's the ones you're gonna be attaching as anchor points to the trees. And then this fourth piece of webbing goes with the rope at the end. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is undo this braiding by just simply pulling it out. And that's a trick that I'll show you at the end of this video. It makes it nice and neat for your organization, which makes it easier for transport. And then you just uncoil it and put it between the trees. So now we're gonna take the first piece of webbing and attach it as an anchor point to the first tree. Before I move forward, I do wanna remind you, the links are in the description about what these pieces are and where you can get them. What I've actually had this set up for the whole time I've been slacklining over 10 years. And I originally got it at an outdoor store where you can find rock climbing gear. That's where you're gonna find your one inch tubing is what this is called. And then your carabiners. So for each piece of tubing that I have, I braid it up so it's nice and organized and then you can easily undo it like so. And these short anchor pieces are gonna be about 10 feet long. So you wrap it around and then I use one knot for everything here, and I believe it's called the clove hitch. What you do is you do a loop, bring it back around, and pinch it with your fingers to hold it, and then hold the other piece with your pinky. You get really used to this. It takes practice. And then you take your first carabiner, and you run it through both loops, and cinch it up give a rotation on that carabiner, hold on to it. You have to use finesse and dexterity. And then you make another clove hitch. Same knot for everything you're gonna see in this video. And you tie the, punch the carabiner through it, like so. And then cinch it up. And these are all friction holds. And then boom, so it's done. So now you have your first anchor point set up and you take your long rope, which is 50 feet long. I got a 50 foot, you can get longer if you wanna do long lining, but I keep it simple. So 50 feet, one inch tubing that you're gonna walk on. So part of your arsenal is you're gonna have two line lockers. These are rings, O-rings or line lockers. And you take your 50 foot long one inch webbing that you're gonna walk on and you make a little loop like that and you pop it through and then wrap it back around underneath like that. Open it up on the inside and then open up your carabiner here and feed it through and pull it friction hold. So that's the thing that I really like about this minimalist setup is that one knot for everything, that's the clove hitch. And then the other thing that keeps it simple and safe is friction holds, meaning that that's not gonna go anywhere no matter how much weight you put on it. So again, it's the same thing for your second tree. We've already got our first anchor point. You take your second 10 foot webbing and unbraid it Simple as that. And then you wrap it around the tree and do the same thing as you did on the other side. You've got two carabiners on this side. That's the difference. One on the other side, two on this side, and you'll see why. But same knot, keep the tubing straight, make that clove hitch. You gotta get really good with your fingers and take the carabiners, open them up together feed them through, 
and pull it tight, turn them and hold on like that and do a clove hitch over here. Even it out so you have clean attaching points. Run the carabiners through each loop and then get it sorted out so the opening's on this side here and then pull it tight and there you go. So a quick recap before we move on, we've got our first anchor point set up and then we have our second anchor point attached to the second tree. Now what we're gonna do is run um, this line we're gonna walk it over and make a third anchor point on the middle of the line. We're gonna to wanna to do this at about 80% of the distance from the first anchor point to the second. So this is where you use your second O-ring or line locker, and you do the same thing as you did at the first anchor point. You just make a loop with your one inch webbing, run it through, and then fold it back to go through that line locker O-ring, hold that uh, hole in there and take your other carabiner and pop it through that hole, line locker, just like that. So now that you've got your first anchor point attached and your second over there, what you do is keep the line straight by running it down, grab that third anchor point, make sure it's good and you continue keeping a straight line. And now you start a rhythm to do your final attachment. Under, over, under, over, over, under, over, under. It looks like this. Under, over that first carabiner. Keeping the line straight with your hands, otherwise you'll get twisted. And under, over. Keeping the line straight here. And if you have any questions, always hit up in the comments, let me know. And then over the carabiner and then under it. And you finish off that rhythm by going, feed it, this line through the carabiner, over, under. And then tuck it under the line there for a friction hold. So what you do now is you just grab onto that final piece of line and give it a tug. So pulling on this with just your hand strength like most slackliners do, that's about all you can get and that's a major problem because you start walking on this and it's gonna sink all the way to the ground when you put your whole body weight on this. But that's where my trick at the end comes in where you take your fourth anchor point wrap it around the tree. And just like the other anchor points, you make your clove hitch, run your carabiner through the first one, tighten it up, hold on to it with your pinky, make the second clove hitch, hold on to it, run the carabiner through both, tighten it up, even it out <clears throat> like that. And now you see this final well, our second to last carabiner has a red plastic pulley, which is the other part. Link into the description for the full list. Just like the final carabiner here has a red pulley on it because you're gonna take your rope, which is different from the one inch tubing, 10 feet long rope here. So you take the end of this rope and make another clove hitch, double it back on towards yourself turn it over, you have your hole, and you feed it through this part of the carabiner, cinch it up, that's an anchor point. You run your hand back down the rope here and through this carabiner, and it's gonna run on that pulley system here and make a clove hitch anchor point here. Take your final carabiner, run it through there, and that's an anchor point there. And now you take your rope, pull it through the carabiner there and make sure that it's set onto the pulley here and here. 
So you can see this rope is connected to the anchor point here and the uh, pulley system here. And this is where the magic happens. It might seem complicated to you at first, but you'll get the hang of it. So check this out. Whereas before, just using your hand strength, you couldn't get any tighter than this, but watch the magic happen now. Look at that. I got a good few more tugs in there. It got already a lot tighter and we can get it tighter with one more pull. So to reset for your final pull, you, you just undo this clove hitch, which is the beauty of the clove hitch. It's a friction hold that's gonna hold infinity weight, but to undo it, you simply just loosen it up and it falls off like butter. And then you come back and measure the distance. Right about here looks good. Clove hitch anchor point, reset. Boom. Feed it through the pulley here. Make sure that it's still going through the pulley on this side and you're good for a few more tugs and then it's gonna be good to go. Put your body weight into it, lean back. This is working smarter, not harder. You can use gravity and science to get it tighter. And now you're good to go. Undo that clove hitch, drop your rope, and then check your line and you're good to go to start walking. So that's all there is to get set up. And now you just check your line before getting on it. You look at each point and make sure it's clean and good. You walk it back. Everything looks good, nice and safe. You can give it a little test and you can see that it's really tight. You're gonna wanna make sure you're loose, feeling good, you're not stiff and tight. And I like to be barefoot so I can get connected with the earth and I feel the line a lot better. And you just start with one foot on there, kind of rest, get your bearings about you, and then give a bounce and up. Like that. And then you don't have to start walking if you want to just practice balancing. Don't feel like you have to get all the way across the line. It's okay just to come out a little bit and feel the line. This isn't a full on tutorial about how to walk on the line, but that's like the basics of setting it up and walking on it to get started. You can always ask me more questions in the comments. I'd love to know where you're at with your experience. And that's, you just start feeling it out. And there's so many benefits to it. Walking on the slack line, is a great habit to get into for so many reasons. But all reasons aside, let's pack it up. I'm gonna show you how to take the line down, braid it up, put it in your bag, and go back home. So to take it down, you've got a series of clove hitches spread out throughout the line. The beauty of the clove hitch is that it will hold all of your weight, but the friction doesn't prevent you from undoing the knot so easily. So you start here with your rope and just loosen up that clove hitch and bring it out like that and get, get get rid of that rope there don't need that clove hitch you just loosen look at that comes off like butter you just undo it start dropping your pieces on the ground so you can deal with them later and now for this part here watch this to undo you're thinking how would you undo this well you just take it pull it back and then it just comes undone like that Super easy. So you just take it out of the carabiner. And then same thing over here. It just comes loose like that. You just pull it out of the carabiner. Same thing over here. Pull it out. This is the pull out method. Just like that. And then right here, you just pull the carabiner out. Line locker comes free just like so make start making your pile which will come to later you come back to your first anchor point you, your line locker comes clean just like that and clove hitches undone super easy feeds out
There we are. Your pieces are clear. You got your first anchor point line. Make a pile. Final one. Clove hitch comes out easy. And now we're start we're ready to start braiding it up. I like to start with the big line, 50 foot line. You just line it up, run it out. And now you start braiding it up. This is going to make it very clean. So the next time you set up the line, it comes undone rather than just bunching it up and throwing it away. That's not how we like to roll. So here's how you braid it up. It's really easy. Start like this and run your line through there and just start doing that, repeating that. I don't know how to explain it, but you see what I'm saying? You just keep running it through until you get, look at that, to the end of the line. So we're at the end of the braid here and that's it. Now look at this, you've just got this nice, clean line that won't get tangled. Nothing sends me into an unreasonable rage more than tangled knots and strings. So that's not gonna get tangled. And we're done with that. You repeat that with your other pieces of 10 foot webbing. I'll show you again. You just start at the end, double back on itself and run the loop, 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 until you get to the end here. And you repeat that process with the final two pieces of webbing. The final part of packing here is just taking that bit of rope. And I don't even bother with the butterfly um, braid. That's what it's called, a butterfly braid. I just do a coil with the rope because it's so short and easy. Coil it up, there you go. Now you've got your three pieces of butterfly braided, 10 foot, one inch webbing, your long 50 foot, one inch webbing, butterfly braided, those are good to go. Your 10 foot rope coiled up and your carabiners, nice and neat and get a bag of your choice. What you do, just grab your carabiners and line locker O-rings, toss them in there, get your rope in there, grab all of your webbing. Don't worry about it getting tangled up. You can just stuff it in there and it's good to go. Throw that in the back of your truck. Next time you bring it to the park, you just dump it out and repeat the process. So that's how I set up a slack line. I hope it made sense to you. Check the links in the description for more details and drop your comments if you have any questions. If you wanna see the companion video to this video about where I talk about the benefits of slacklining, check out that video right here. And for more videos from me about healthy lifestyle habits, watch this playlist here. Take care, bye for now.